Hello everyone and welcome to this specialist trading presentation. My name is Stephen Primo and for those of you who are new to joining these educational webinars, I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading as you see right here. Uh, we are an educational company. We focus on the insights, the wisdom and the trading strategies from the floor because uh, I was actually a trader on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for a total of 16 years and nine of those years I was a specialist. So that's how we get the name Specialist Trading. Now I've been trading for 35 going on 36 years and I give these uh, educational webinars from time to time just to pass along our information hopefully to elevate your trading and today what I want to speak about are three things that you should have in every trading strategy. These are the three main components of a successful trading strategy and it really doesn't matter whether you're trading a strategy that you've put together yourself or something you've purchased from another educator or one of our strategies. You should have all these components in your strategy to make it successful in our opinion. So we're going to go over them and show you exactly what they are so you can start applying them to the strategy you're currently trading. Now today, as I stated, we're going to talk about the three main components of a successful trading strategy. Once again, once I teach you these today, they're very simple and very basic. You'll be able to apply them to your current strategy or if you'd like, you can purchase one of our own strategies. But these are very, very simple but very powerful different components here. All right, component number one. If you're going to be trading a successful strategy, I know you've heard this before, and remember I stated everything is rooted in simplicity, so it doesn't get any simpler than this. You must be in sync with the trend. I know you've heard it before, the trend is your friend. Always trade with the trend. The trouble is most traders, especially when they begin, they try to trade with the trend, but then they run into some trouble. And the reason is because everyone has a different idea of what the trend is. Uh, one person's uptrend could be another person's downtrend. There are a million and one ways to discern trend, but as we stated, at Specialist Trading, we try to keep things as simple as possible. So let me show you what we feel is the simplest way as well as the most powerful way to find out what the trend is. All right, so here we have a chart, and we purposely uh, blotted out what it is, whether it was an E-mini or a stock or a, an hourly chart or a Forex chart, because we want you to show that uh, see that this concept will apply in any uh, you know, market in any time frame. So it really doesn't matter. As you can see here, it looks like there's really no range here. There's really no trend. We kind of just have this kind of up and down movement, kind of ranging from up to bottom. So someone just off the bat would say, well, there's no real trend here. But at Specialist Trading, the way we decide trend is by simply applying a 50 period simple moving average, as you see right here. Now, once you apply the 50 period simple moving average, you ask yourself, where is price in relation to that 50 period simple moving average? Because if the majority of prices and the closes are above, well then you're going to be basically in an uptrend. You'll only be wanting to look for buy signals or buy setups. If the majority of prices are below that 50 period simple moving average, well then you're going to be in a downtrend. You're only going to be looking to go short. So that's how simple it is. Right off the bat, <coughs> excuse me, you know whether you should be long or short. You know whether you are in sync with the market simply by applying the 50 period simple moving average. And once again, to show you how simple but how powerful this is, this does not matter what time frame, so that's why it doesn't matter if this is a five minute chart, a monthly chart, or an hourly chart. It does not matter. This concept will apply into any market and any time frame. Okay, so that was component number one. So now we know how to be in sync with the trend. Once again, you can apply that to any current strategy you have. Now that we found the trend, we're going to apply component number two. And this is always look for signals within pullbacks. Okay, a lot of traders like to buy breakouts. They feel that once a stock or any mini or the forex market breaks out of some type of resistance or breaks down, that's when you get in. Well, that will work, but when they don't work, when uh, concepts and techniques like that don't work, you, you really fail miserably. So we want to really have a high probability way of trading, and that's for looking for signals within pullbacks. But someone would say, well, what exactly is a pullback? Well, we'll show you right here. Let's look at that same example again. Now, someone would say, okay, well, this is where I want to buy. We're obviously above the 50 period simple moving average. So when price breaks out above this little resistance here, this is where you should buy. So this is where someone would normally purchase, roughly right around this area. This is a very basic concept way of uh, trading. I would say the majority of traders will trade this way. But then look what usually happens. Many times you'll buy and the minute you get in, it's almost as if they were waiting for you. But as we see here, price is still above 
the 50 period simple moving average. So we should still be looking to go long, but we only want to be looking to go long in this little sell-off or pullback. See, we're pulling back to the 50 period simple moving average. So this is where we want to look for signals within this little sell-off right here. All right, we don't want to look for breakouts, or we don't want to look for uh, buying bottoms or trying to bottom fish. We're looking for a sell-off, a pullback, that we are above the 50 period simple moving average. Now obviously if we were going short, price would have to be below the 50 period simple moving average and we would be bouncing or rallying. That would be a pullback to the upside. But in this case, price is pulling back to the downside and this is where we want to look to buy. So don't look to buy on breakouts. Don't try to bottom fish when price has gone below the 50 period simple moving average. Look for pullbacks for high probability signals for entry. All right, so that was component number two. We've learned how to find the trend. We learned that we should only look for signals that apply some type of pullback within that trend. And now component three, which is enter upon the confirmation of the trend. Well, what exactly does that mean, the confirmation of the trend? Well, let's look back at that other example again. All right, so we see here that we didn't purchase once we broke out because that was pretty much a sucker's bet. We want to purchase when price is selling off. So let's say your strategy, whatever it's based off, could be based off of news. Let's say on this particular day, some news came out that was very bullish according to your strategy. Or let's say right here, uh, an indicator gave you a, a buy signal. Rather than simply buy at the market, what you want to do is wait for confirmation. And confirmation just means that we're resuming our upward course. You see, right now we are pulling back. We want to have confirmation that we're going back up. So how do we do that? Well, once we get a signal, we want to see that price trades one tick or one pip above the previous bar's high once we have gotten that signal. Okay, So let's say we had gotten a signal to go long right here. Most people would simply buy at the market or place a limit order. What we want to do is wait for price to trade above, and that will be our confirmation that the trend has decided to go back up. So, so far, as long as the signal is still telling us to go long, we're just waiting for price to trade one tick above, which it did at this point right here. So this is where your entry would be. This is where you would buy, regardless if this is a five-minute chart of the E-mini or a monthly chart of the Euro dollar or a, uh, a chart of Apple. It does not matter. And then look what happens. As you can see, that's our confirmation and the trend resumed upwards. So these were all three components all put together. We were above the 50 period simple moving average telling us that we should only go long. We looked for a pullback and once we had a pullback that's what we're looking for a signal. We weren't looking for signals at breakouts or bottom fishing below the 50 period. We we're looking for a pullback above the 50 period and then once we had confirmation where we traded one tick above that's where you enter. And you have a very high probability trading methodology. 